inside the Islanders zone now, but Charlottetown have it. They'll get it to the blue line and out to center ice. Chisholm get all tangled up there, and that allows the Islanders to get inside the zone. Semino in close, runs into Bednar, but the Titan will turn the other way. Swing two on one, Tournay over for MacArthur, but Cormier just a perfect job of getting the stick in the lane and breaking that up at the last minute. Charlottetown unable to clear the zone, and they score! MacArthur in front, Tournay got free. He redirects it by the goaltender, Lapena, and the Acadie Bathers fight and score four on four here at the 5.09 mark to take a one to nothing lead in this hockey game. The first opportunity was missed, but the Islanders unable to clear the zone, and then it was a perfect pass by MacArthur to the front of the net. Tournay, no mistake with the redirection, and the Acadie Bathers Titan have the first goal of this hockey game. Uh, waiting for the all clear from upstairs. It would have been close at the blue line. First period here tonight. Semino to the front of the net. That didn't work. Bunchel was there looking for it, but he couldn't get control of it. Now it's set up ice. LaPierre to get it, and he scores! The goaltender Lapena came out to meet LaPierre. Last time that happened, LaPierre ended up the penalty box. This time, Hendrix LaPierre says, thank you very much. Picks up the puck, goes around the goaltender and fires it into the wide open net to give the Titan a 2 to nothing lead in this hockey game. You can see it here. The goaltender Lapena committed himself to come out. Couldn't beat LaPierre to the puck, though. And Hendrix LaPierre just able to move around the goaltender, and he had a wide open net to put it into. So what we've seen early in this hockey game from uh, LaPena is he is not scared to come well. Back it comes from MacArthur to LaPierre one more time. Front of the net, Allison just missed that. Now Kidney, the high slot, Kidney, side of the net, LaPierre, and he scores! Hendricks LaPierre, first shot hit the side of the net, second one into the cage. It is now three to nothing for the Acadie Bathers Titan. There was three seconds left in the Brett Budgel penalty, so the Titan will still be on the power play here for another minute and 35 seconds. The Budgel penalty will be over, but uh, the uh, penalty that is to Kieran Gallant still has a minute 35 to go. And yes, for uh, Xavier Semino and Jacob Melanson, it was indeed two minutes. Gay, now for Semino at the side of the net, under 10 seconds to go. Gay, side of the net for Semino, that fails to work. Semino now right to the front of the net. The Islanders move it, and the Titan put it in their own net. They almost got out of the period, but it was kicked into the net. The Islanders moved the puck across the front of the goal, went in off the Titan defender, and Charlottetown with 1.1 seconds to go here in the opening period, find a way to get on the board. You can watch Higgins here, and it goes off his Manic, he'll play it to Cormier, dishes off to the side of the net, that shot from Gay, up high off Bednar, but he got enough of it to keep it out, Islanders regain control though, then they score, Lucas Cormier shot from inside the blue line, beats Bednar, blocker side, and for the second straight period, a late penalty by the Titan, and the Islanders capitalize, and we've got ourselves a one goal hockey game, Lucas Cormier, just a great shot from inside the blue line, and he beats Bednar, glove side, just 15 seconds into the power play. You can see it here. Not a lot on it, but it was perfectly placed to beat the Titan netminder, and uh, the Islanders take advantage of the power play opportunity. They're sent off the stick of the goaltender, Bednar. Now Bianca Batuga, that shot in the point right on goal. Another stick save from Bednar, and there's another one. He doesn't know where the puck is, and it's in the net. The Islanders have tied this hockey game. Larkin was tied up in front of the net with the Charlottetown player. The save was made by Bednar, but then he couldn't move, couldn't get anywhere as Larkin had the uh, space covered. You can watch it here on the replay. Just a quick shot. Bednar with the save, but then Larkin was uh, tied up with the Charlottetown player. That's Semino in front of the net. And Bednar just couldn't move. Charlottetown has come now back. Semino put his glove on the puck, cleared it away. Now Semino with a couple of cross checks to the back of Forrester. No penalty called there. Gay able to get to the front of the net. Loose puck, and the Islanders get it to the back. Been a lot of hits in this game. Actually, 16-14 
is what the official record is right now. Charlottetown with the lead in that department. And they score! Quick shot. Drew Elliott beats Bednar. And with five minutes left in regulation time, the Charlottetown Islanders, with their fourth straight goal, have grabbed a four to three lead. Giveaway there by the Titan Forrester. And quick pass to Elliott, who just puts one by Bednar. And the Titan. A giveaway inside their own zone. Here's break it up quickly inside their own zone and get it to center ice. LaPierre backhands that back inside the Islander blue line, but it's sent out by Charlottetown Gay into the empty net. And that'll do it. Five to three for the Islanders. The empty net goal coming from Patrick Gay to make it five to three with exactly one minute left on the clock. So the Islanders now with the empty net goal. That's their fifth straight goal in this hockey game as they